Hello, this is Photography Gamer. Welcome back to the channel. Today I'm reviewing Disjunction for the PS4. Disjunction is a futuristic stealth action game developed by Ape Tribe Games. The game is set in New York in the year 2048. You play as three different characters working to uncover a conspiracy. So what is it like to play? Well, you control one of three different characters. Each character has slightly different control layouts with some opting for stealth or action or a mixture of both. You can sneak, shoot, use non-lethal takedowns or drag bodies into the shadows. How you want to approach each level is up to you. You can hide in the shadows, kill the guards, hide the bodies, take out the security cameras and use your special talents. Or you could just run in guns blazing and hope for the best. For me, I found stealth was the way to go, but sometimes that's not possible and it's nice to have the option to do both. As you complete missions, you can upgrade and strengthen your character. In regard to the missions, they're not really that complex. You go to a place, navigate the level, either by stealth or by force, find key items, go to the end point, done. And repeat that process throughout. I'd say, you know, level wise, they're okay. They are a bit drab, especially seeing as it's supposed to be a futuristic world. They mostly felt quite identical as did the missions, but you know, they're okay. Graphically, it's fine. The characters look good enough, but as I said, the game world most of the time looks pretty bland. There are some flourishes, but mostly it's pretty forgettable. Sound-wise, the only thing that really stood out to me was the excellent and well-suited synth music that you would expect from an indie sci-fi game. Okay, what's good and what's bad? Good points, the three characters add variety, the stealth action is satisfying, and progression is well handled. Bad points, level design is uninspired and repetitive, visuals lack flair, and the three characters, although they are different, it's in the long run, I didn't find them to offer a really great different experience, to be perfectly honest. So, verdict, disjunction, it's okay. It does stealth pretty well. The levels are relatively challenging, and they're okay to look at-ish. But in the long run, it does have some big shortcomings in terms of repetition and unique level design. So would I recommend it? Not really, only in the hard sales. You know, it's not awful, but it does become tiresome very quickly once the novelty wears off. So scoring wise, disjunction, six out of 10. Okay, that was the review. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed, like, subscribe, go to my Patreon. But for now, this is Photography Gamer signing off. Thank you for watching. Cheers.